everyone! I'm here with Bandit today. <laughs> he has been begging for attention for like the past 10 minutes. He gets a little bit jealous whenever I stream. He wants to go on my desk. <laughs> he wants to go on my desk, but he is not allowed, okay? Because he'll just walk all over my keyboard and press a bunch of buttons and then like delete the stream. Actually, one time a few years ago, he muted the stream. <laughs> if you were here during that, you're a real one because that was like a really long time ago. But hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be building a butterfly garden in Animal Crossing here on Honeydew, my spring core island. Hello, Gabby and Eduardo, Jake, Sammy, Avery, Rihanna, Mila. Hello. It's great to see you all. How's it going? Happy Thursday. Y'all already know it's like my favorite day because tomorrow's Friday. And how can you how can you get better than that? Hello, Space Panda. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And hello, Selma. Enjoy your Stardew Valley. That sounds that sounds really fun. That sounds really fun. So oh, enjoy your lurk, Lisa. Glad that you're here. We're gonna be building this butterfly garden in this spot right here, which if you don't know where we are i'll show you on the map you can kind of see we're back here in this uh right corner of my island it's right across from melba's house so i'll show you i'll show you if you haven't seen melba's house it's right here so yeah we're just gonna we're gonna be building a little butterfly garden now it's gonna be quite large so i'm gonna have to remove a little bit of this cliff to make room for this butterfly garden. Hi, Jenny. Hi, cozy stars. How are y'all? How's it going? Yeah, happy early Earth Day. I think that Earth Day is on... Is it on Sunday or Monday? I can't remember. I know, I think it's like the 21st or the 22nd. I love Earth Day. <laughs> Thank you, Mila. I love this island so much. Like... I am becoming way too attached to this island. I just want to play on it all the time. Like whenever I was preparing for the stream, I started getting really distracted and I just started doing stuff and I'm like, hold on, hold on. I need to wait for the stream people. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm doing good, Cozy Stars. Like I said, it's it's Thursday, and so Thursdays are just automatically a great day because it's the end of the week. The week is wrapping up, and I'm very, very happy about that. Okay, let's just get all this cut down, cut to size. And by the way, I dyed my hair purple last night. You can't really tell um, in this lighting on this camera. It's a very subtle purple. I mean, I didn't lighten my hair and I have really dark brown hair, so it's not like super vibrant or anything, but in certain lighting, it's pretty purple and it's, I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. Thank you, Eduardo. Hi, Amber. How's it going? I'll show you a picture. I feel like in this photo, let me see. I'm gonna be cringing at my selfie. This is, I can show my mom. <laughs> this is so I could show my mom. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I feel like it shows up better outside. I'm loving it though. My husband helped me dye it last night and we were up pretty late dyeing my hair, but it was fun. It was fun. It was an adventure, that's for sure. We're gonna be building a butterfly garden, Amber. I just, I don't know. I've been wanting to dye my hair for several years, but I've always been too afraid. And then finally yesterday, I went down like this rabbit hole on Reddit on like how to dye your hair and not completely ruin it or damage it. And then once I felt confident, I just went and bought the, the dye and here we are. <laughs> here we are. Hey Robin, welcome in. Oh, thank you, Avery. Yeah, I feel like it looks darker, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I definitely dyed my scalp like super purple. Hopefully that comes out. Okay. So this is this is a pretty big space, but like I said, the, the butterfly garden, it's gonna take up some space, okay? It's gonna be 
pretty big, so I really got to make room. I really got to make room. I don't know how big. I think it's going to be like 11 squares wide, but I wanted to have some room over here to add like trees and stuff so it's not just right up against my beach. Okay, let's just cut this down just a little bit further. Toby, I don't remember who Toby is. Is Toby one of the Sanrio villagers? The yellow one? I think. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that I, I don't know if I would do another like jungle theme, but I'm working on a tropical island, which you will get to see tomorrow um, in tomorrow's video. Wink, wink. I feel like that's kind of similar to jungle core. Okay, so I think that this should be a good starting point. Oh, Toby's inspired by Karopi, that's so cute. So I've been very inspired by uh, Brook Games, also known as ACNH with Brooke. I think that she's inactive on social media now, but I put her Instagram in the link I mean, in the description of this video, if you want to go check her out, she has like some amazing, just like big brain Animal Crossing builds like this butterfly garden. So I'm basically just going to be using her little build here as a template and we're going to make it match my island theme. So credit to Brooke. Now let's see. I think we can do this and then we're gonna have to probably actually shave this cliff down even more because like I said I don't want it to be too close to the coastline because I don't want it to be right up against the sand I want there to be room to like plant trees beside it and stuff Hello, Daisy. Welcome in. How's it going? How's your Thursday? Hello, Valencia. Welcome in as well. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. I'm so excited. And Fridays are even more fun now because I upload videos on Friday and I'm always hyped. I'm always hyped for that. How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a cozy, cozy Thursday. Okay, so now we're going to need to place more of this pathway, like so. I feel like I have a cat hair like in my nose. <laughs> hello, Toby, and hello, Kim. Welcome in. We're building a butterfly garden today, and you're just in time. So I'm going to lay down like the foundation with these codes. The girl that I'm using for inspiration, she had like this brick pathway and it looked really nice with the butterfly shape, but I'm going to be using this garden path and I don't know if it's going to look good. I think it will. I think it will. I have a feeling that it could be really, really cute. Because this pathway just like looks good all the time. Hello, Manic Melody. What's up? How's it going? How is it going? Okay, so then I think we do this. And then I think we do it like diagonally. Hi, Joy. My day has been pretty good. It's been a slow day. But in a good way. It's just been like a cozy, cozy Thursday. All right, so now I want to place, I think, one more path. We'll just use the dirt right here. See, and look, it is right up against the coastline. This is gonna be huge. This is gonna be huge, but this is okay. I think this is, this is good. Hello, Madeline. How are you? I love your penguin profile photo, by the way. Super cute. And then we're going to place some shrubs here. And this is going to be a trust the process build, okay? We're just going to have to trust the process. Because once we time travel and get all of these shrubs grown, it's going to look really good. 
but right now it might look a little bit strange with just the little shrub saplings. Okay, I'm trying to keep it all symmetrical. <laughs> Make sure I don't break it. All right, so then we want to have another one, I think right here. And then this needs to be, no, this needs to be like this. And this, okay. This is some like big brain design. This is big brain design. <laughs> need I need the ultimate focus to build this right now. Okay, this is looking cool. See, you can kind of see it taking the, the shape of a butterfly. Right? <laughs> right? And then let's do some pink mums here. I think this is going to be super cute. And then we're going to be using the white hyacinths like a lot, so... Okay, and then here we can do... I think the green mum would be really cute. So let's place these. Okay. Alright, focus. We're going to need to do... I think this pathway here. I think. <laughs> Oh, okay. And then maybe another one? Maybe another one? Hello, Michelle! Thank you, Betty. Yeah, I want to make a really cute butterfly-shaped garden here. And then I think we'll do... Yeah, then three more. This is going to be a really tight squeeze. This thing is going to be really big. It's going to be a large butterfly garden, okay? But it's going to look so good. So I think like this. Can you tell that it's a butterfly? Can you see... Can you see it starting to take shape? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. And then we'll do these two here. And then we'll want to have this right here, I think. Does anyone have any fun weekend plans this week? I do not, unfortunately. I'm, I, I say that every Thursday. I'm like, I'm so boring. I never do anything on the weekends. But by the time it's the weekend, like, I'm just so tired from the week that all I want to do is just relax and hang out, you know? I guess relaxing and hanging out is its own activity, though. So maybe that counts as doing something. A street food festival? That sounds amazing. I hope that the weather is nice enough for you to get to go. Oh, I didn't know that Coachella had, like, live streams. Wait, your dog is in a frisbee competition? That's so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, nothing wrong with, with relaxing, Madeline. It can be, it can be cozy. A cozy and fun time. Hello, Katie. Welcome in. Okay, I still can't get over the fact that your dog is going to be in... A frisbee competition? Like, that's just so impressive. Is he really good? I bet he is. Or she. Alright, so I think now we do this. Try to keep everything symmetrical. This is like a big brain moment. Like, my- I'm- I'm doing- this is me right now. Like, I'm doing the maths. Trying to- <laughs> trying to make sure that this looks good. No, because same, Daisy. Literally same. I'm going to hit up some record stores for record store day on Saturday. They release exclusive and new vinyls. Avery, that sounds cool. That sounds super fun. I hope that you're able to find a cool record. For your collection. I've always wanted a record player, but I've just like never bought one. 
I think it would be so cool. My sister has one and I'm I'm jealous. Hello, Bean. How are you? I hope you're enjoying your break. I hope you're having a good shift overall. Okay, wow. We've gone... Th oh. <sighs> no, I destroyed my pink moms. It's okay. They'll grow back. It's okay. But we've already run out of shrubs. Was not expecting that. I feel like I got so many out. I feel like I got so many out. It's okay, though. Look how many I have. We got shrubs on shrubs on shrubs. Okay, so we'll need another one here. And then... We'll need one here. And then we'll need one here. And then two up here. Aw, oh, Texas Healer Poppy. That sounds so cute. Is this, like, accurate? I think this is accurate. I think that this looks good. Now... We probably want to... How does she have this... Go into... Hello, crystal ball pieces! How are you? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Jake, I think that this is looking good, right? <laughs> You're in charge. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I don't know if hers technically does the pathway like that, but we're taking creative liberties here. We're taking creative liberties here. So this is... Okay, we're going to need the one that's curved. And by the way, if you just got here, we're taking inspiration from Brooke Games. This is her butterfly garden here on the screen. And I have it put up on my computer screen so that I can kind of use it as a template. <laughs> Don't put me in charge. <laughs> Jake, please. <laughs> please, I, I need help. <laughs> Oh yeah, Michelle should totally be in charge. Michelle is like the safe keeper. The keeper of information. Okay, is this like looking good? Is this looking anatomically correct? <laughs> Here we go. And then I think we'll need another one of these. Oh, I love border collies. Eduardo, thank you so much for the long time support. I really appreciate it. Hi, Ariel. How's it going? I swear, Ariel, your profile picture just makes me like so happy. I think it's so cute. I love it. Okay, something, something's not adding up here. So I think it needs to be like this. Hi, Cheeky Peaches. Thanks for joining in. I hope that you're enjoying the stream. And by the way, if you guys are liking the stream, be sure to actually like the stream and subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. Yeah, I love that Stardew Valley um, photo generator. Like, I've used it a couple times. It's so cute. Whoever made that is seriously, like, incredible. <laughs> Love the cheeky peach emoji. So cute. So I haven't been using the white hyacinths on my island. I don't think I've used them at all, but I wanted to use them in this build because I feel like they just would look so bright and pretty. And for some reason, I had a bunch of them on my island. So I thought it would be a great way to get rid of them. Hello, Ims or Ims. How are you doing? Thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah, I'm so excited to visit you, your island. So if you guys don't know, um, you can submit your dream address to my Google form. I posted it in the Discord server, but also on my community tab over on my channel. And I'm going to be doing a really fun, exciting thing. So please submit your islands, okay? I think that the thing that i'm planning won't be until may uh, but yeah you should totally join the discord server because i will post any updates there oh thank you michelle michelle just sent the link in chat so click it please 
click it or tick it, as they like to say here in Texas. Okay, so it is M's. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so this is looking pretty fire, if I do say so myself. I think that we've had a little bit of a mishap here, though, so let me fix that. I think that these... This all needs to be moved down one. So let me fix that. Hello, Nat! Happy stream day! And hello, Sophia! So let me fix this. Oh, no. Oh, no. My pockets are full. Okay, so let me empty a little bit of my pockets and then I'll fix this. So let me see. We're going to need some of these here. Oh, this is going to be so cute. This is going to be so cute. Butterflies are just like perfect for spring, in my opinion. So I just think it's like the perfect build idea to have a little butterfly garden. It's perfect for my island. Okay, now let's dig these up and fix the issue because there is an issue. I've done a miscalculation. I knew that this would happen. I knew that this would happen. Chicken nuggets, that sounds so good. That sounds really good. Also, you guys, I am currently inquiring with a tattoo artist because I really want to get another Animal Crossing tattoo. The one I have is like very subtle. It's just the Lily of the Valley. Um, but I really want to get a Fauna tattoo. And so I've sent over some references to this tattoo artist and I'm hoping to hear back from them soon. But if I do get it, I will like make a little vlog or something, like a TikTok vlog, maybe. Oh, I'll see you later, Cheeky Peaches. Thanks so much for hanging out. It was great to see you. I hope that we'll get to see you again someday. But yeah, I really want to get an Animal Crossing tattoo. It would be so cute. And this tattoo artist that I found, she has like the cutest style and she's done some animal crossing tattoos in the past and they looked amazing okay yeah so this is looking a lot better i'm i'm fixing the issue tattoo vlog yes okay okay maybe it'll be a youtube vlog not a tiktok vlog now let me do this and then yeah we need one more bush like right here and thank you sammy See, maybe Sammy should be in charge. There we go. And then I want to have another... Oh, we're out of hyacinths. We are out of hyacinths. But let me do one of the pink moms here. And then I was using the green moms, so... I think that the green mom should go... Or maybe this is the one? Right here? <laughs> <laughs> me like not I'm just just trying to do this math i'm already in a struggle let me just fix this side and then we'll see what we need to do <laughs> sammy <laughs> same same my favorite animal in animal crossing honestly like my favorite villager is fauna and i love maple and celia but like my favorite animal might be the chickens it might be the chickens my TikTok is New Horizons with a U on TikTok. Or actually, maybe it's Tiger Puffs. <laughs> I can't even keep up with my own my own handle. I think it's Tiger Puffs. I think it's Tiger Puffs. Could be making that up though. Okay, let's see. We'll do that and that. I think that this is how it's supposed to look. I feel like I should repair this golden shovel at some point so that it doesn't break, but at the same time, like, I'm kind of lazy. All right, where are all these azaleas? Here they are. Thank you, Michelle, for sending the TikTok link. Yeah, so it is Tiger Puffs. It is. Not me, like, not even knowing my own TikTok username. <laughs> it used to be New Horizons, okay? That's my excuse. Alright, now let me place these here. 
because I think that this is how it's supposed to look. And then we'll do this here. And so I think that this should be, this should be good, right? Is the math mathing? I think so. And then we'll need two more shrubs, one here and one here. And now let me go grab a bunch of these hyacinths. I'm really excited to see how this looks when we time travel because all the shrubs will grow in and they'll have pretty little flowers on them. And it's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be adorable. Thank you, Sammy. Sammy, your island is looking so cool. All right, let's do this here. Then we'll have two here. One here and one here. And then another one back here. Hopefully we have enough of these flowers. Another one here. Not there. I'll see you later, Ims. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Valencia. And thank you, Jake. Thank you. Can you see the shape of the butterflies starting to form? I feel like it's going to look so cute. Alright, let's place another one of these. And I used the green mums right here. So I think I'm going to use another one right here. And one here. And then I think that I'll use the pink lilies in this spot. Oh, this is gonna look so adorable. This is gonna look so adorable. Okay, it's like way bigger than I was anticipating. And I was anticipating it to be a pretty large build, but like not this big. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you guys think it looks cute. I think that it's going to look really good with this garden path, but if I don't like it, I might change the path to the green grass pathway that I have. I'll show you because I feel like it could look really cute with this green grass, but I wanted to try the, the brown dirt because I thought it would look a little bit more unique and it would have like a better contrast against, uh, the green like flowers and shrubs so we'll see we shall see what happens okay so we do that and that and then this needs to be a pink mom do we have another oh my gosh there's one more pink mom yeah i am gonna add some butterfly models around the area Let's do this. And then I think that all these are just going to be the white hyacinths. Hey, Renesme. Sorry, my voice just like cracked. <laughs> hey, Renesme. Um, we're building a butterfly garden. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Okay, and then we need one more. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all, somehow I had the exact amount of these white flowers. Literally the exact amount. Look, I don't have any left. How is that even the case? I don't know. I did not plan for that. So in between all of this, I want to have a little uh, like wooden pathway but I want to break it up a little bit so it's not super repetitive. The math is mathing. The math is mathing today. And I am horrible at math. I am so bad at math. <laughs> oh my gosh, Madeline. I, that's so valid. Uh, whenever I went to Seattle, like, oh my gosh, that was almost two years ago. Um, we went to this like museum and they had the little like butterfly room and they were flying around and honestly 
they were a little scary. They were a little bit scary, so... I totally get it. Alright, and then we'll do some weeds to break it up. And then I want to have some trees around here. But I don't want to, like, overwhelm the area or take away from the butterfly shape. Oh my gosh, Jenny, those little butterfly emotes are cute. Yeah, up close they can be so scary. Oh no, was that my shovel? Was that my shovel? I'm going to make this cliff yet again more small. We're gonna make it a little smaller. Yeah, I was gonna customize it and then I forgot. <laughs> I literally was just talking about how I should probably try to customize it to repair it and then I forgot. But look at this. Look at this. I've got I've got the the storage. Oh yeah, maybe tiny trees would look good. Oh, Ariel. I bet your cat is so cute. Okay, do I uh, do I really need to make this smaller? Maybe. Okay, I'm just gonna see. Oh, this isn't this isn't covering it up. This is good. Now, can we fit one here? Please say yes. Please don't say no. Please. Why? Why me? <laughs> Why me? It's okay. It is okay. I'm gonna put one here though. This should be cute. And then we'll do some of these. And then maybe one, a tree can be right here. Sad violin, exactly. This is, this is me with the sad violin music whenever Animal Crossing doesn't let me put my tree where I wanna put it. All right, so let me put this here and then I wanted to put a tree here, but let's do maybe a cedar tree. Cute, cute. Actually, it might be pretty adorable to have another cedar tree. Hello, Rose, how's it going? Welcome in. Oh, Madeline, my grandma used to have a chihuahua named Momo. And Momo loved to sleep on, like, underneath blankets on the couch and on, like, my grandma's chairs. And so we would always be like, don't sit down unless you've checked under the blankets and made sure that Momo wasn't there. <laughs> All right, let's get out um, some butterfly models. Actually, wait, I think that I might already have some. I think that I might already have some in my inventory. Yes, I do. Let's do the paper kite butterfly model here. And let's do another one. And let's have this one facing the other direction. Oh, this is cute. This is so cute. I use Instagram and um, Pinterest to get all of my Animal Crossing inspo. Most of the time I use Pinterest. But every now and then I'll be on Instagram and see something that I really like. Oh, he likes being on top of the blankets or pillows. How cute. I love chihuahuas. They're so freaking cute. <gasps> you have the three of them? I am so jealous. I bet they're so cute. I wonder if chihuahuas are good with cats. Like, I've been telling my husband that I really want a dog, but I really don't want to get a dog that would scare my kitties or make them feel uncomfortable. All right, let's do a fence behind the butterfly model because I think that would just be super cute. 
All right, so I'm gonna time travel now. And we're gonna time travel a couple days in advance. That way all the shrubs grow in and we can really see how this butterfly garden is going to turn out. And while we're waiting, um, on, I, oh man. Oh man, I accidentally closed the game. I accidentally pressed the button. Um, let me just time travel really quick. We're gonna go forward quite a few days. And I'm gonna do 7 a.m. because I really like that time on my island. Hopefully it's not raining. But while we wait, I wanted to remind you that memberships are open on my channel. We have the Brewster tier, the Celeste tier, and the Blathers tier. You get a bunch of custom emotes, loyalty badges, and other cool perks. And I started doing a thing where um, every time that we get a new member or a new super chat, I'm adding a sticker to the stream water bottle. So yeah, that's your motivation. That's your incentive. Also, of course, we'll throw a dance party for you. Pinterest is so good. Like I, I love Pinterest, especially for Animal Crossing and like recipes. Oh, welcome in Simply Akari. No worries. It's good to see you. Oh gosh, this loading screen takes forever. So I'm just gonna remind you again to join the Discord server because it's really fun to hang out with you guys there. We're always having a good time. Like it is super chill in the Discord. Jake, oh my gosh, thank you for gifting another membership. Um, Hail's Heaven, congrats. You are now a member. You are now a member. Let's throw you a dance party. <laughs> All the members send your hype Julian emo in the chat for Haven. Let's go. And I'm gonna choose a sticker for you. I'm just gonna do random. Uh, why do we keep drawing these Tom Nook <laughs> Tom Nook stickers? This this always happens. Tom Nook haunts me everywhere. I go. look at Isabel. She's like enjoying the dance party. Yay, all the hype emotes. This like Wii Sports music is so good. Okay, I cannot get this sticker to open. Bear with me. Bear with me. All right, I got it. Now let me add it to the water bottle. I'm gonna add it next to the other Tom <laughs> All right, there you go. This is gonna be like the Tom Nook side, and then this is gonna be the other, <laughs> the other side. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you again, Jake, for gifting another membership. You're amazing. Thank you for your support, as always. <laughs> the Wii Sports music is so nostalgic. Like, I love it. <gasps> Ooh, we have a campsite villager. Let's go. I wonder who it's gonna be. I wonder who it's gonna be. Oh, amazing. Haven, if you're in the Celestier, then you get early access to today's video or you, tomorrow's video, but you can watch it today. But you can watch it today. Yeah, thank you, Jenny. Everybody like the stream if you haven't already. Wii Sports is like, just, you know, one of the pillars of my childhood. Okay, so number one, I wanted to show you guys, I customized the outside of Maple's house. And look at how cute it is. Oh my God, this is my first time seeing it, by the way. Um, I just customized it right before the stream. It looks so cute. Put a one in the chat if you like it. And uh, we're gonna customize some more villager homes also um, during the stream. But let's go see who our um, campsite villager is. Hello. I don't, I'm not, I'm not expecting anyone good, but you never know. You never know. Uh, is this Megan? I think it's Megan. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute, but I don't think that she would, she would do great on this island. Thank you guys for all the ones. Thank you so much. Oh, Madeline, I love the pink lock too. Like when I saw it, I was like, yes, this would be perfect. So before we do our grand reveal of the butterfly garden, 
Um, let's go customize another one of our villager houses. I really want to customize Tia's house because she runs a tea shop on my island and I think that we can make it look cute. We're not going to decorate the inside. Maybe we will another time, but we're going to at least just customize the outside. Let's talk homes. Let's do it. And also, um, hydration check because I forgot to even take a drink earlier. And I'm so thirsty. Okay. Um, yes, I have 9,000 bells. Don't worry. Oh, you love Megan? Yeah, Megan's a good villager. She's super cute. Okay, let's do Tia's house. I am so excited. I'm so happy that we speed ran Happy Home Paradise because customizing the villager homes is literally so amazing. It's so cute. Oh, thank you so much, Jake. No worries. No pressure at all. We appreciate all of your kindness. <laughs> thank you, Sophia. Sophia, your profile picture is so cute. Okay, honestly, like one of my favorite things about streaming is seeing your profile pictures. Like, y'all always have the cutest ones. Okay, so this is Tia's house currently. I think that I want her house to be maybe like this type of shape. But I'm wondering, like, do they have options where we can make this look a little bit more bright and uh, like springy looking? Because if they don't have any like bright options, I'm not going to do it. Oh, wait, this is kind of cute with the pink panel. This is the pink panel. Um, Maybe with this or maybe. Oh, this is kind of cute. I want it to look like a little tea shop, you know? Let's see. But I also want it to match the spring vibe. I feel like this is so cute. Maybe with a little welcome sign. What are the variations that we can do? Oh, uh, maybe the pink one. See, this is kind of cute. This is kind of cute. I wish that the roof could be a little bit better. What do you guys think? Should we do the beige stone roof? Or should we do the thatch roof? The orange one or the beige one? I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to do a poll in the chat for these three. Which roof? The beige stone, the beige thatch, or the orange thatch? This is the beige stone. This is, oh. <laughs> um, just, yeah, just deletes the entire, just deletes the entire thing. It's okay, it'll give you some time to vote in the poll. Let me just re-add all of these things back. I think this is how we had it. Oh, but the, these are kind of cute. But I think that I'm gonna do the, this pink welcome one still. I think it's so cute. Okay, so this is the beige stone, and then this is the orange and the beige thatch. The beige stone? Yeah, I'm thinking the beige stone too. I'm thinking that too. Something about the stones are really cute. Now let me see if any of these other doors look cuter. No, I think I still like the original door that we had. You're fine with whichever one wins. Honestly, same. Honestly, same. I'm going to go with the beige stone. It seems like that's the most popular. So let's confirm and let's do it. Let's do it. Amazing. Um, Let's leave the interior as it is. Yeah, honestly, I liked all of them pretty much the same. That's why I was like doing the poll because I could not choose. <laughs> I'm indecisive. Also, look at how cute my little sweatshirt is. It has these little cats on there. It's Valentine's themed. I bought it for Valentine's Day a couple months ago. Um, embarrassingly, I bought it on TikTok shop. I know, I know. As annoying as TikTok shop ads are, I am just like a, a freaking sucker for these crew neck sweatshirts with the embroidered design on them. Like. If you put one of those in front of me, I'm probably gonna buy it, okay? And this is the second one that I got on TikTok shop. I also got 
a red one for Halloween and it has Hello Kitty wearing a Halloween costume. It's just like, I, I can't, like, I just can't. Oh my gosh, Jenny, the luck, honestly, because cats will destroy cat towers so fast. So now you have a backup or you could just use both of them at the same time. All right, everyone, prepare your eyeballs. Prepare your eyeballs because we're about to do the grand reveal the grand reveal of the butterfly garden put a one in the chat if you're excited <laughs> i'm super excited to see how this is gonna turn out i can see the shrubs grown in look the anticipation okay let's see it oh my god stop this is so freaking cute oh my gosh y'all I love her. I love her so much. It looks so cute. I love the butterfly shape. Oh my gosh, the the freaking spring is springing. The spring core vibes are springing. Spring has sprung. <laughs> spring has sprang has sprung. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you everyone. I'm so glad that you like it. Also, whoever said that they're going to buy merch, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet, okay? Because I am working with an artist right now and we're going to make something really cool. And I think it's going to be around $15. I think it might be 10 to $15. But it's going to be really, 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 really cute. And it's just for the live stream folks. I mean... You don't have to be watching live streams to buy it, but <laughs> anyways, no spoilers. It should be ready maybe next month. So hold your horses, okay? All right, so let's see. I think that we could make this a little bit cuter with some more butterfly models and maybe some more um just like items in general we can kind of decorate around this i love the tiger butterflies that's such a good idea i don't think i have any of the tiger butterfly models maybe i do i am so excited too i feel like this is going to be like the coolest merch that i've ever done and i'm probably gonna open an etsy store to sell them because I'm gonna be like buying the stock myself and shipping it out myself um, which is gonna be so cool because I get to like package little orders it's my dream it's my dream I love watching um, that kind of content on TikTok where they like small businesses pack their orders like that is so freaking satisfying to me okay let's plant some more of these trees Oh, Ariel, thank you so much for sticking around until the reveal. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday. I'm going to pop open the Island Designer app so that we can move this cliff. Yes, the packing order TikToks are like, they have me in a chokehold. I am so addicted to watching those. Brittany, welcome in. I'm so glad that you can make it. All right, let's destroy some of this cliff to make some room back here for some trees. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so happy with how this is looking. I feel like this is so freaking cute. Is this like the same spot? I think this is the same spot. Is there a cat below me? Yeah, there is. Come here. It's Bandit again. <laughs> it's Bandit. Okay, he's so done with me. All right, be free. Be free. He's, he just wants attention during all of the live streams. He can't control himself. I know. He's just like uh, walking around, like rubbing against my legs <laughs> under my desk. 
Okay, so I think it would be cute to also have an incline up here, but unfortunately, I don't think that it's going to be centered. So, I'm trying to think of how to do that. I'm, my brain is not going to work for that right now. But I just remembered that I actually wanted to come over here and add some little stepping stones in the middle of this river because I wanted to put a bridge here. That way we can easily get to the other side of the island. But I've already used so many bridges. Oh my gosh, you're so right. I should use the vine or a ladder. That is such a good idea. Thank you, Katie and Mrs. Elliot. Thank you. And hello, Meg. It's good to see you. I'm glad that you can make it. Okay, wait, what am I doing? I want to place some stuff on here. So let me let me go over here because I think it would be cute to have maybe a butterfly model on one of those. Um, but one of them I want to leave open so that we can hop across uh, the river because I've used so many, so many of my freaking bridges already and i don't want to waste another one because we've only decorated like not even half of the freaking island okay i need to focus i need to focus i want a butterfly oh maybe we do have the tiger butterfly model joy i'm gonna i'm gonna use those oh we also have the blue oh i'm gonna use the common butterfly model too i didn't even see these <laughs> my toxic tra my toxic trait is that I use all 10 bridges. Exactly. I want to use all 10, but I know that I'm not gonna I'm gonna want to use them on the other half of my island. So I need to stop putting them everywhere. I'm just gonna grab some stuffies and we're gonna decorate all around here too. I'm just gonna grab all kinds of stuff. Do I have any more green leaf piles? I don't think so. I think I've used them all. I think I used them all. I love crochet videos. I love Raven's crochet videos. They're my favorite. They're like my comfort videos at this point. Okay, so look at this. I've already used six of my bridges only in this small amount of area. And so I really know that I'm going to want to use the other four on this other side. So I'm afraid to use one right here. Because I just don't want to waste a bridge, you know? I don't want to waste one. Okay, so let me do this. And we'll put a butterfly here. Let me find... Here's the design that I want. This little flower crown. It's so cute. Yeah, like any crafty videos, I love. I love crafty videos. Let's do the tiger butterfly for joy. <gasps> Thank you so much, Meg. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And then I want to have just a little design code. Maybe just the little bow. Something simple. You know what? Hold on. Can we add another one right here? Yes, we can. I didn't know if there was going to be room. And let's add the buttons. And let's add the second tiger butterfly model. Oh my god, stop. That's so cute. All the butterflies. And then we can destroy these two pieces here. And now we can hop across to this other side of, of my island. It's perfect. I needed to come over here anyway <laughs> to grab some flowers. By the way, what is your island's name and what island theme are you doing if, if you're having an island theme on your island? I'm curious. My island's name is Honeydew and we're doing spring core. Uh, should I put this? Should I leave the bow here or should I put a flower here? I feel like a flower could be really cute too. I'm gonna add some flowers around here though. 
Springfield, a normcore island. I love that. Ooh, elegant core, such a vibe. Love the elegant core. So cute, Jenny. I love that. Let's add a shrub here. Ooh, Meg, I've been wanting to try grandma core. I think I might do that because I've been doing this series like I tried the blank Animal Crossing's blankest island theme. Like I did, I tried Animal Crossing's hardest island theme. This week I'm doing the easiest island theme. And then I was thinking about doing the coziest island theme and doing grandma core. Ooh, abandoned city core sounds nice. Oh, your island's name is Pearl Cove and it's a mix of spring core and elegant core. That sounds so cute. That sounds so cute. Oh my, a pink fairy core, sunshiny. Sea turtle island, that's adorable. Oh my god, stop, an apple themed island. That is so unique, I love that. That's absolutely adorable. That is really, really cute. <laughs> you wanna see grandpa core? It would just be like a bunch of grandpa villagers, like Dobie, just looking cute. Strawberry, I love that. I love a Kirby level themed island. I'm very curious about that. Sounds intriguing. I want to place maybe the mum cushion here. So let me place... I think that this big leaf design might look good. Oh, honey bay, that's so cute. So, so cute. All right, and then let's do maybe the bunny. Oh my God, stop. This is so adorable. I have seen Raven's Florida Core Island. Whenever I came back to YouTube, I was like, let's see what's every what everybody is up to. And I saw Raven doing the Florida Core and I was just like, yes, <laughs> love that. <laughs> Hello, Ava, welcome in. Oh, craft core? That's so unique. I love that idea. Oh yeah, see, I'm intimidated by kid core because it seems like really hard. I don't know why. Maybe I should try it. I've been wanting to try it for several years, but then I end up getting distracted by a different idea instead. I've been wanting to do spring core forever, and I started a spring core island a long time ago, if you remember, but I never finished it, so here we are. I think it might be cute to have like a little fence here. Mischief Island, I love that. So a lot of you guys are doing like the elegant core and spring core. So cute and fun. I just tried out this new theme for tomorrow's video and I'm loving it. Oh yeah, so I have this lighthouse item. Yeah, Cozy Button is such a cute island. I loved visiting it, Miss Elliot. Thank you so much for allowing me to. So I wanted to place the lighthouse item and I think it would be cute to place it back here. If you guys want to see Miss Elliot's um, island, you should go watch my 10 idea video that I uploaded a few weeks ago. Oh, an all yellow island. I love that. Honestly, yellow is one of my favorite colors in Animal Crossing. I just feel like it looks so good. I love the yellow flowers, yellow items. I bet that island was adorable. Yeah, kid core. Oh, I don't know. Like some kid core islands I don't like, and then some of them I like absolutely love. Honestly, though, that's me with any island, any island theme. Okay, let me grab some more of these flowers. Some of these lilies. And these mums. The green mums are my favorite flowers in this game, but I also really like the white cosmos. They're just so pretty. Let's place the lily of the valley here. And the green mums. And the white cosmos. Oh, thanks for asking, Ava. I will show you our membership screen. 
we have three tiers. The Brewster is $2.99, Celeste is $4.99, and the Blathers tier is $9.99. And all of them have all of their unique perks. My membership goal for the month is 40 and we're almost there. I think what, okay, I can't math. Can't math, but I think we need 12, yeah, 12 more members. 12 more members to hit our monthly goal. Hopefully we can do it. This is me trying to do math every time. Like, huh? What's one plus one? I don't know. It's two. <laughs> okay, so I think that the lighthouse item would be super cute to throw back here. Where is it? Here it is. Right here. Is this the front? Yeah, I think this is the front. I think that this is the front. Let's see. Oh yeah, stop. This is so cute. This is so cute. I'm gonna cry because I love my own island so much. Okay. Let's see what else I have. Oh, I had the bench. I think a bench would be really cute to have somewhere around here. Mm, this is kind of a tight squeeze. Maybe it would be cute to have one like right here and then have another one like right across from it. No, I don't like that. I don't like it. Let's try back here. So I was gonna say it could look cute up against this cliff. Okay, I feel like that's cute. Let me just shove a shrub back here. And then I need to go grab some more flowers. See, I'm so glad that I added those little stepping stones. Oh, uh, enjoy your lurk, Jake. Enjoy your lurk. Thank you, Meg. I'm so glad that you like it. I'm so glad. Hey, I think I had more flowers down here, but none of them are what I'm looking for. I guess I'll grab some anyway. The treasure islands that I usually use are down today, so I didn't have time to go grab any flowers beforehand. So I had to scrape up a bunch of random flowers from around my island for today's stream. Because usually before the stream, like, I'll go grab some. But the treasure islands are, are down. At least the ones I use. Okay, let me just pop some shrubs and different things around here. Okay, every time that Nightbot sends one of those messages, I'm like, who sent a long message? And I, like, go to read it and then... It's literally just Nightbot. <laughs> okay, this is cute. And then let me go ahead and add some little flowers. Let's do these. There we go. And then we'll put back the bench. Perfect. Perfect. And let's add some buttons. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is so cute. I don't know if I have a ladder item in my inventory, in my storage, but I'm definitely going to save this spot right here for one because I just absolutely adore that idea. Whomever had that idea, thank you very much. And then, let's see. I was thinking that maybe some peach trees would look good, but I don't want them to cover up the ladder when we do place one. Let me get some of these pink lilies again. Hi, Wendy. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you like it. I'm so happy with how this build is turning out. Like... This might be my favorite build that we've done on the island so far. I feel like you can really tell it's a butterfly shape when you look at it from this angle. Like, stop. This is just so cute. And again, if you weren't here at the beginning of the stream, a uh, shout out to Brooke Games, who had the original 
I mean, I don't know if she's the original creator, but that's who I found this photo from and who inspired me to build this same build, but like in my my own island theme. So yeah, and her link is in the description. She's inactive, sadly. She doesn't post anymore on Instagram, but her Instagram page still has so many cute builds. Hi, Star Gamer. Welcome, welcome. Does that like take away from the build a little bit? I think I'm gonna place these actually one block back. How's it going, Star Gamer? How's your Thursday? It's good to see you. Happy Home Paradise went well. It was chaotic, but we ended up beating the DLC. And it's over now. It's done. Once and for all, it's been ended. <laughs> Until the next island, at least. Alright, let me place some fencing here. Yes. Yes, this is so cute. Will this show on the map? I don't think so. Yeah, sadly, no. I wish I would because it would be so cute if there was a little a butterfly shape right here. Like, stop. That would be adorable, but sadly not. Sadly not. So let me do some of these stones. Oh, that sounds really fun, Star Gamer. Yeah, maybe play some Happy Home Paradise. Maybe you can speed run it like I did. <laughs> Hello, B. Welcome in. How's it going? There we go. And then we'll have a ladder right here to go up up there and i think that we'll put a villager house up there what do you guys think and let's do maybe some more butterflies i think so i think so <laughs> i did scam a bunch of villagers <laughs> i did scam all the villagers whenever i was doing their their vacation homes <laughs> i gave them like the worst possible vacation homes they could have it's okay though you know you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta do what you gotta do okay this is so cute though the little butterflies i love it yeah i can show you guys the um villager list i have to remove myself so you can actually see so we have Rod, Cat, Sherb, Audie, Pico, Bones, Maple, Melba, Tia, and Henry. And we've already decorated Tia, Melba, and Maple's houses. And I have plans for Sherb's house. So I could put someone's house over here at the Butterfly Garden. It would have to be Pico, Henry, or maybe Bones. I feel like Pico would look really, really cute over here. Like right up on this cliff. Do you think we should do it? Do we think we should do it? You vote Pico for the butterfly house? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I feel like it would look so cute with Pico over here. Let's add a little like blinky right here. Okay, we'll move, we'll put Pico over here because I think she would just be adorable. But I have to put this little blanket right here because it has butterflies on it. And it will just be perfect. Actually, let's move it down. Because it looks kind of strange right up against the stone right there. Let's put it like right over here. I think it'll be cute right here. Okay, yeah, we'll do Pico. I think she would look really cute over here as well. Oh, uh, I love Eunice. And I love Bangle. Honestly, all of those villagers are so cute. 
I love them all. Let's add this here too, because I love that design. Oh, hello? Hello, Bandit. Do you want to say hi again? He just wants to say hi to everyone today multiple times. Oh, he's so sweet. He just wants attention. He can't help himself. Okay, he's done. He's done. Oh, no, he's not. He just wants to go on my desk. All right, be free. <laughs> Be free. He just scratched the hell out of me. <laughs> Ow. You know, it's just life with cats, you know? Sometimes you get scratched. Ooh, maybe a little mushroom stool would be cute somewhere over here. <laughs> Banda says hello to all of you, too. He's still, like, circling me. He just wants attention. He wants attention. He loves the fame. <laughs> he loves the fame. Can you hear him meowing? So cute. <laughs> Thank you, Shy. Oh my god, I love your profile photo. Let's put a little peach. A little cheeky peach. <laughs> on the mushroom. Hi, Ava. I'm feeling pretty awesome today, too. Not gonna lie. I'm having a great day. You know me. I'm, I have that Thursday energy. Let's add some little stones. And some weeds. <laughs> Sienna, hello! How's it going? Thank you so much. It's my cute little butterfly-shaped garden. I'm loving it so far. I'm loving it so much. Okay, let's do another stone here. I mean, it's not really leading to anything, but... Oh well. And then we'll also just plant some weeds in all these spots. Actually, I feel like maybe some flowers could look cute around here, too. Let me grab some. Thank you! If Sienna likes it, then it's a success. I don't make the rules. Let's do the yellow hyacinths here. I feel like these would be cute. I feel like maybe we could get away with some flowers right here, too. Oh my gosh, B. Rocket is unhinged. <laughs> Rocket is so unhinged. There we go. There we go. I feel the need to cover every single square. Oh, let's put a bow here. Or is that too repetitive? Maybe... Can I remove this custom? No, I think I'm gonna have to make another little piece of land here. I think I'm gonna change this. And I think instead we'll do a different code. Bandit, please. Please give me some space. Okay, which code should I do, though? Maybe the little cloud? Stop. That is so cute. That is so cute! Cries and cuteness overload. Okay, so now what should I place on this little tiny blanket? I have this little cherry blossom plant. I think this can be moved over though. Let me go look at some of the like food that I have. Let me look at some of the food that I have because I think a little food object would be so cute. 
Oh, maybe like one of these little pinwheels would be cute in this build too. Now where's the food? Where's the food? Is it not in here? Oh, I might use one of the vines temporarily because I don't have a ladder yet in that for that one spot. Oh, I'm okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm trying to find food and then I'm getting distracted by everything else. Where do the food items go? Here they are. So let's see, some orange juice. I don't really have that many cute food items. I don't really have that many cute ones. Coconut oil. Maybe just like a little cupcake would be cute. <laughs> yeah, pets do not know personal space at all. Okay, let's add a cupcake. I think that the cupcake can work here. Yes! <laughs> it's so cute and tiny. I love it. Now, these little umbrellas, I thought it could be cute to place them here. And then have them turned around behind the tree. Maybe we can scoot them over a little bit so you can see them better. Yes, oh my gosh, stop, that's so cute. So cute. There we go. I'm gonna place the vine here. I'm gonna replace this with a ladder later. But for now, the vine will just have to work. And to finish this off, I did want to have a little, a little pinwheel. I wonder if we can squeeze this in anywhere. Yes. Yes. So cute. So cute. Now, Sienna, this is going to be for you. I don't think you were here when we decided this, but it's perfect that you showed up because... We're gonna be making this Pico's um, butterfly garden, and I know that you love Pico. <laughs> so yeah, what are the odds? I think that Pico's your favorite villager, right? I could just be making all this up. <laughs> I hope I'm not making this up. Oh my gosh, happy 19th birthday to your cat, Robin. I hope that she enjoyed her little birthday cake. I bet she did. Okay. Let's move Pico's house over to the butterfly garden. And then we're gonna have to time travel and then we're gonna have to customize Pico's house because I don't know what it looks like on the outside. Honestly, I forgot. But I want it to be cute and pink and match the spring core vibes. I'm gonna actually look up what her house looks like. Pico ACNH house. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to change it because I really wanted to match. I really wanted to match. <laughs> yeah, Pico does deserve the best. Look at her. She's so cute. She's just so cute. How can you not be in love with her? How can you not be in love with her? By the way, if you're enjoying the stream, you should totally like it. I would appreciate it very much and it would help me out a ton. <laughs> Cutely autofills chops? No. B, you're unhinged. <laughs> I love the energy though. You've been calling her Pioki? I don't know, like, I think that Pico is the way to pronounce it. I feel like I looked it up one time. But please correct me if I'm wrong. You love her? She's on your island? Yeah, she's just so cute. Her little buns are so cute. Alright, so let's go place her house right up here. I want it to be like right in the middle of this. Can we center it? That's going to be the question. Can we? I don't think we can. It's okay. It's okay. We're just gonna have to do it like this. Let me imagine it to see how how it looks. 
Oh wait, this is kind of centered with, like the door is centered with the vine. So I think this can work. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yay! I have the vine here. I, I The vine is kind of growing on me. I kind of wanted to replace it with a ladder, but I don't know. The vine is kind of cute though. It's very earthy. Thank you so much, Jake. I'm glad you like it. We're going to time travel so that we can get Pico's house in its place. And then also we'll be able to see Tia's house because um, we customized it and I'm really excited. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. All right, let's quickly time travel. By the way, like what's your favorite game that you're playing right now, everyone? Are you guys obsessed with Animal Crossing still? Is that what you're playing lately? Or are you playing any other games? I have been playing a lot of Valorant every day. I'm addicted. <laughs> and also Animal Crossing. And then I also started playing The Sims again. And I've been having a lot of fun with that. And some Stardew Valley. You're playing Animal Crossing and Disney Dreamlight Valley. Mario Kart? I love Mario Kart. We should have like a community game night where we all play Mario Kart together in the Discord server sometime. It would be so fun. I'm just so bad at coordinating events like that. <laughs> but we need to do it. You're taking a break from Animal Crossing and you've been playing Luigi's Mansion 3? Sounds fun. I've never played Luigi's Mansion. Oh my god, Avery, I've been wanting to play Sticky Business. I saw that it just came to Switch and it looks so freaking cute. I've been eyeing it on Steam, but I feel like I would love that excuse me, on the Switch, like, way more. And usually I'm not, like, a Switch gamer. I am a PC gamer for sure. Like, Animal Crossing is the only thing that I play on Switch, but Sticky Business looks like it would be so fun on Switch. Mario Party Superstars? That sounds fun. I haven't, like, I've only played, I think, like, 30 minutes of Disney Dreamlight Valley. Maybe I should give it another chance. Maybe I should give it another chance. So if you're new here... This is my island so far. I'll show you the entrance. This is her. Super cute. Is it really Kat's birthday again? <laughs> we can go this way. You can kind of see a little bit of the island. This is Maple's house down here that I just customized. It looks so cute. It looks so cute. And then let's go see Tia's house. It's right up here. Stop. Oh my god. It looks so much better. I love it. I'm so glad that we went with the stone roof like that. I think it looks so good. Oh my god. This totally looks like a tea shop, right? Oh my gosh. I'm so obsessed. Not me, like, fangirling over my own island. Like, I just... I... I love it. I love her so much. She's so cute. <laughs> okay, now let's go see what Pico's house looks like. And then we're also going to customize her house. Maybe, maybe we should customize it before. No, I'm just going to go look. Oh, look at Melba. She's over here hanging out. We need to customize her house too, but honestly, her house is already pretty cute. So I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna change it. I kind of wanted to maybe add something like a blue accent to it so that it matched the blue flowers. Stop, this is looking so good. Oh my God, with the house up there. I'm so proud. Okay, let's go customize the outside of it though so that it can match the theme a little bit better. We just gotta run through my entire island. Oh, everybody say hi to Renesme and Edward. <laughs> Our daily hellos to Renesme and Edward. Disney Dreamlight Valley, like, I don't know. I couldn't get into it. Like, the first 30 to 40 minutes of a game are so important to me because if I don't, like, get into it then, I'm just going to give up and never play it again. So... Yeah, but maybe I should give it another chance because so many people seem to have so much fun with it. 
I'm uploading another video tomorrow at 3.30 central time. But if you're a Celeste tier member or above, you can watch it right now. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> okay, so let's do Pico. And I want her house to have some pink... Maybe some yellow. She's just so cute. <gasps> Jake, thank you. I'm so glad that you enjoyed the video. I, I'm really proud of this video that's coming out tomorrow. I think it turned out so cool. I did no terraforming and no custom codes, which was a challenge, but also it was nice and simple. Okay, so let's decorate Miss Pico's house. I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like a cottage might be cute. Maybe the white log with the pink roof? Yeah, I loved the ending of Happy Home Paradise. It was so freaking wholesome. I don't know how I've avoided that for so long. Like the spoilers for that. Oh my gosh, look at this blue rose wreath. That's super cute. I don't remember that being there. This dark lily wreath is cute too. I think I kind of like the tree branch one. Or this one, I think, is pretty cute. Hi, Megan. What's up? Oh, no worries, Jake. Like, YouTube does not make it easy to make it for the right membership tiers. So every time I mess it up and then I have to fix it. <laughs> so no worries. Okay, how does this look? It's really pink. It's really pink, but I kind of can't help it. We can add like some, maybe the white tile. What do you guys think? Should I do the pink roof or the white roof? I, I think I might do the white. I'm not gonna lie, I think the budget for the game went to the ending scene. <laughs> Honestly though, I'm gonna do the white roof. I'm gonna do the white one. It was so cute though and like, I knew that I was going to unlock um, like dancing emotes after I completed Happy Home Paradise, but I did not know how many dancing emotes that you actually unlocked. Like there are so many. Yeah, let's get to 100 likes y'all. Please like the stream. It would make me happy. <laughs> and maybe it'll help other people find the stream. And they can join the cozy community that we have. Alright, let's go back to Pico's house. I'm not going to time travel just yet. Let's go up here. And let's start decorating a little bit of the outside. At least just a little bit of it. I don't know like what, I, I didn't plan on doing a villager house up here, so I don't know exactly what we're gonna do, but I do know that I think it would look really good to have some little like water streams going around. So let's do that. Amanda, thank you so much for the super chat. You were finally able to upload your dream address after you uploaded it first with you being naked. I saw your comment and it literally made me laugh out loud. But thank you so much for the super chat. I'm going to add a sticker to my stream water bottle for you. Let's just pick a random one. We're gonna do bro. Why do I keep getting all these Tom Nook stickers? My water bottle is just going to be like a Tom Nook water bottle. And let's also give you some some dancing villagers. <laughs> Thank you again, Amanda, for the super chat. Okay, let me just try to get this sticker open. I struggle with peeling the sticker. 
We're gonna add him to the Tom side of the water bottle. It's just becoming covered with Tom Nooks. So embarrassing. Maybe the next member of Super Chat will get something that's not Tom, or maybe we'll just keep getting Tom Nook and eventually my entire water bottle will just be like a shrine to Tom Nook. <laughs> it looks so cute. Thank you again, Amanda. We're getting this thing covered, y'all. Like, it looks so cute too. I'm loving it so much. <laughs> Hello, Jennifer. I'm so glad that you can make it. I'm so glad. All right, so we're gonna keep decorating Pico's house. My cat is still just meowing and begging for attention. He wants the fame. He wants the shout out. He wants to be in the stream. Okay, but how cute would this be if we like connected this eventually over to this little um like pond up there <laughs> glad to know that you're in a walla girly yes awalas are just my favorite water bottle nothing can beat them and nothing can beat them i think it would be cute to do um oh maybe like this um, excuse me, I'm trying to place a custom code. Oh, it's three wide. I see. I see. Well, then I'm just gonna do a little picnic blanket then. And let's do this orange. This is so cute. It's gonna be even more cute once we time travel and the house exterior is all updated. And then let's do some of these little wooden planks leading to the vine. Oh, thank you guys for 100 likes on the stream. I appreciate it so much. Y'all are spoiling me. <laughs> and then let's do some fencing because it is a yard. It's her front yard. Let's do it like this. So cute! So cute! And then let's also get some more flowers. I'm running low on flowers. I was just talking about earlier, like this, the treasure islands that I use, they're having issues with, I think like their Discord bot or something. So they're closed for the day. And usually I go to the treasure islands right before stream because I'm a last minute preparation girly. And yeah, so I didn't get to go grab flowers as I usually do. Luckily I have some just like laying around my island in random spots. So I've just been like scraping them up from all these random locations. We're making it work. Somehow I had the exact amount that we needed for the butterfly garden. Y'all look at how cute this area is turning out to be. It's like going above and beyond my expectations. I'm I'm succeeding exceeding my own expectations. Which rarely happens. This is so cute. Okay, her house is going to be pretty simple cuz this is kind of a small space up here. Oh, there's no room? Hello, is this not like a... Can we not place a flower in this spot right here? Really? I would have never guessed that. 
It's okay though, we can just place some leaves. And then let's do these buttons. They weren't supposed to go right there, they were supposed to go here. Let me fix our blanket. Oh, it's the door. That makes sense, but also it doesn't. You know? Let's use these little lilies here because they're super bright and pretty. Can we place an item there? No. Okay, and then let's like make this her little like a seating area of some sort. I think that that would be super cute. I'm gonna plant a peach tree over here. Thank you, Michelle. I'm glad that you think it's cute. We can plant our little flower here. A little shrub here. Another flower here. And then maybe we can even do some cliffs back there to give even more um, height to this build. I'm gonna eat the forbidden cupcake. Don't judge me. Oh my gosh, Renesme, Wingstop would smack right about now. Husband? <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys were here on Tuesday and remember me pleading to my husband on the stream that I wanted pizza, he did in fact deliver, and we did in fact have pizza. But husband, it's your time to shine again with the wing stop. <laughs> if you're watching. But it's so bad because we're trying not to eat out as much, but like, come on. Come on, it's just so yummy. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be cute with some cliffs. It was Pizza Tuesday. It was Pizza Tuesday. We had some Hawaiian pizza too with pineapple. It was so good. Chef's kiss, incredible. You know, I wasn't expecting to decorate Pico's house during this stream. Like, I thought we were only going to have time to do, um, like, just the butterfly garden. Because I really thought that I was not going to be able to do that that quickly. All the mathing. <laughs> but we actually did, did the butterfly garden pretty quickly. Oh, same, Wendy. I love a good Hawaiian pizza. So tasty. Can we? No. I just wanted to check though. I just wanted to check. Yes, Megan. It's so good. Hawaiian pizza is definitely my favorite kind of pizza. Thank you, Ava. I appreciate it. Let's do some shrubs up here. And then... We still have some trees left. So we can add some some trees. Some strees, I almost said. Some strees. <laughs> I'm gonna do DA tours at the end of, let's see. Let me open up my calendar. Um, sometime towards the end of the month. We're gonna be doing some more members only dream address tours, so. Yeah. Let's do this. If you guys want me to do just like a regular stream of just dream address tours, let me know. Because I will gladly do that. I love going to dream addresses. It's so freaking fun. All right, we got some trees. So we have a nice little backdrop going. <laughs> Jake, it's okay if you don't like pineapple and pizza. It's okay. We, we each have our own preferences, you know? Oh, we should add a little duck around here. Let's put him right here. Yes, Avery. I think it would be so fun too. Maybe I'll schedule one. And we can do that together. We can do dream tours. It would be so fun. 
Okay, here's the decoy dog that I was looking for. You're not... That's not where you're supposed to go, little guy. Agreed, Wendy. I've never tried, like, green olives on pizza before. Oh my gosh, stop. This looks so cute. I love pineapples in general. Like, pineapple's just so dang good. So tasty. I'm gonna add some more flowers to the ground here. And then I'm gonna add some fencing on top of it. We're gonna fence her in. <laughs> Sounds horrible, but... We're gonna fence her in. Give her a little yard. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna look good if we wrap it around, but I'm definitely gonna do the fencing here. And then let's see how this looks. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. I think we should do it. And I'm just gonna place a bunch of these flower designs so that they're underneath the fences. So it looks nice and full. I love barbecue pizza. My husband like just loves barbecue in general. Hello, can I not place this fence? I'm too busy reading the chat all the time. Okay, hello. There we go. This is so cute. Now I just need to make something here. I don't know like what exactly, but we're gonna do something here for Pico. Let's add a little bit of this garden path. Yeah, I don't think that a bush can fit right there. Maybe I should try it, because I was thinking about that, but I don't think it can fit there. <laughs> Thank you, Valencia! Oh, I can't wait till we time travel because her house is gonna look so freaking good. Once we get to see the customization. I'm gonna love it. Y'all, I feel so accomplished. Like, we have done so much work on this island and we've only been working on Honeydew for a little over a month now. And I feel like we've made so much more progress than than I ever anticipated. I, I'm gonna do the interiors at some point for all of my villagers. I thought that it would be cool if, like, once we finish decorating the entire island, if I just did an entire stream where we just decorated maybe all of the villager homes on my island. We might have to split it into two streams, but I thought that that would be so fun to do together. Hey, XX Berry, welcome in. We have been designing a butterfly farm, and then we've also turned it into Pico's house. And I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Let me just grab all this stuffies out of here. I'm just gonna grab some random stuff that I think might look cute in her yard, and then we're just gonna play around with different things and see what, what works and what doesn't work. Ooh, the windmill might look so cute in this area. I'm making everything over here like super layered. All right, so here's the butterfly garden. If you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. Can you see the butterfly shape? I think it looks so cute. And then we're gonna have Pico's house up there. Oh my gosh, it looks so adorable. Maybe the windmill could actually fit right back here. 
thank you so much. I'm glad that you like it. How's your day going so far? Hello, can I place this down, please? Here we go. Hello, Aurelia. Good to see you. How's it going? What's everybody's favorite drink? Like, I'm such a beverage person. Right now, I'm addicted to vitamin waters, but I really hate drinking them because I don't like the single-use plastic, but at the same time, they're just so good. I'm, just, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to them. Okay, so I wanted to try to see if we could place the windmill here. It's going to be a tight squeeze, but I think we can do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this is perfect. And then I'm also, I think, going to do... Where'd it go? Maybe... No, maybe not the tiny library. I was going to do the hay bed, but maybe this little... Oh, there's not room here? A berry smoothie? That sounds so good. I love smoothies too. Maybe a little rock? I just don't want it to take away from the butterfly design, so maybe I'll just remove that. And maybe instead we'll just do a custom design code on the ground. Sparkling ice. Those are so good. Oh, let's do this little butterfly design. That's cute. And I think that I've gotten myself stuck here, so we're gonna have to go around. Yeah, I also love some water. Speaking of drinks, I'm gonna hydrate. I also love tea, any kind. Hot or cold. I just love tea. Okay. Let's get on over here. So there's multiple things that I was thinking could maybe work. First of all, I wanted to try the pergola. Because I thought that might look cute. Can we can we put something underneath here? Mm, I love orange juice. I love orange juice. Raspberry pomegranate green iced tea. That sounds delicious. I love green tea hello maybe we can't put an item in here cries cries hello raven welcome in how's it going so we could do that or we could have like a seating area i just feel like the big item looks really nice I wonder if we could, like, fit the pergola just back here. It would be kind of random back here, but at the same time, it could look cute. I think it's too big. I think it's too big. Let me try to place it like that. That way it's like an extension of the house and then we could also still probably fit in maybe the table and chairs like this is with the table and maybe oh i didn't mean to eat the cupcake i didn't mean to eat the cupcake it's okay I'll drop one here. This is cute. This is cute. Now we're getting somewhere. Gosh, I wish that this flower stand could fit here and look better. I mean, it would look so good if it fit there, but it, it doesn't. Maybe we'll just do the hay bed. Maybe we will just do the hay bed, and then maybe the little flower stand can go over here. Michelle, I see you. I've been wanting to play Sky. I've been wanting to play it so bad. What's the, my favorite video that I've ever done? That is such a hard question. I've made hundreds of videos. 
But honestly, I think my like latest videos have been my favorite, like I'm most proud of. I'm really excited for the video that's uploading tomorrow. I don't know, I just feel like I've grown so much since I first started YouTube, so... I'm just really proud of my latest work. Okay, this is looking cute. <laughs> this is looking cute. I don't know about these lights though. I think that we're getting to the point where it's like, there's not room for anything else over here. Ooh, but maybe this little pond stone can go back here. Let's do that. Oh, I saw the cinnamon roll collab. That's gonna be so cute. Let me place down this little blanket here. And then we'll place down our pond stone. She looks so good. Now how the heck do I get out of here? I'm like stuck in here. I'm stuck in here. Let's go over here. Uh, good luck with your homework. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. It was great to chat. And then I wanted to add maybe the yacht over here. I kind of just grabbed it randomly because I thought it would look good on the rocks. Yeah, maybe just right there. Maybe just like that. All right, so I'm gonna time travel. That way we can see Pico's house and everything put together. And while we're on the loading screen, here's your um, like fourth reminder, I think, to join the Discord server because it's super fun. All right, so... We're actually going to time travel back in time. We're gonna time travel back in time and then we're gonna time travel forward. So bear with me. Bear with me while this is all happening. <laughs> I'm so glad that you like the butterfly garden. I felt like it's so fitting for my island. I think it looks so cute. And by the way, if you were curious about any of the custom design codes that I've been using, I have a Pinterest board with all kinds of design codes, not just the ones I'm using on this island. Like there are so many different little sections and you can find so many codes there. The link is in the description. Also, I do have a Google Doc for Honeydew codes specifically as well. So you can also look there if you wanted these specific design codes. All right, so we just need to load in and then we're gonna time travel again. My cats are sleeping now. They're being so cute. I can't believe that Bandit interrupted our stream like three times today. He's staring at me right now. <laughs> He's staring at me like, excuse me, I did nothing of the sort. Okay, we're gonna time travel yet again. yet again i wish that there was like a faster way to time travel it always takes such a long time all right here we go now we're gonna time travel to my favorite day on this island which is april 21st which is kind of funny because that day is coming up really soon in real life and I love to time travel right around 7.30 a.m. Because the lighting is just chef's kiss and it's going to look so good. It's going to look so good. Hi, Bandit. Hello. Why are you staring at me? He's like, I'm watching the stream, duh. <laughs> Also, I think I'm gonna do my nails after this stream. And I've, I've had this set of nails for like two years and I've never used it, but I think I'm finally gonna use it today because look how cute they are. They're like a rainbow. 
I don't know if I'm going to. <laughs> Hi. Do you want to say hello to the stream again? Come here. Say hello to them. It's Bandit. He's just loving the stream. He's like, put me on camera. It's my moment. It's my time to shine. If you like cats, you should like the stream. <laughs> okay. All right, buddy. Okay. Okay. He's just gonna stand on... He's just gonna stand on my chair, I guess. <laughs> and slap me with his tail. See you later, Ava. Have a great rest of your day. Oh yeah, look, Bandit's tail is broken, by the way. And it's it's just like a right angle at the end. He was born that way. Oh, he did not like that. He's slapping me. Okay, let's go see how the butterfly garden looks. I know we could just hop across the river back there, but I want to enter from this side. Let's do it. Wait, is, is Melba carrying around a little flower basket? That is so cute. She's so adorable. All right, let's go see how this looks with Pico's house. I'm so excited to see. Oh my gosh, stop. Y'all, this has got to be the cutest spot on my entire island. Like, are you joking me? This is so freaking adorable. Let me get out of the way so I can take some screenshots. It's so cute. I love it so much. I love how it turned out. And look at Pico up there in her yard. Let's go up here and see how it looks. This is so cute. <laughs> the peach tree is still not grown all the way. So it'll look even better once all this stuff is grown. I guess, yeah, I forgot that since we time traveled back, we need to keep going. But we get the idea, right? Stop, this looks so cute. If you like it, put a one in the chat. And if you love it, put a two. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm so happy with this. Like, this is pretty, like, large. This is a large build. This took a lot of my island. So I'm really happy with the progress that we made. I don't know how I'm going to decorate this beach over here yet, but we'll see. Thank you for all the twos. Thank you. So now, like, basically this whole half of my island is for the most part decorated just like the museum down here and all the beaches and also my house but other than that like we already have half of the island decorated like how did this happen so so quickly bandit please please he's literally just hanging out on my chair Hello. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hello, Mim. Welcome in. We made a butterfly garden today. And it's so freaking cute. Look at the butterflies actually flying around. Like, oh my god. They're actually attracted to this area. That's so cute. Look, there's another one over there. How cute. How cute! I'm just so happy with this. And again, I want to say a shout out to Brooke Plays, who also was known as ACNH with Brooke, who had the original butterfly garden that I saw. And I was super inspired by her. Um, her link is in the description to her Instagram. You should go check it out. Hello! I love your profile picture. My melody is so cute. Welcome in. Unfortunately, we're just about to wrap up the stream, but you should totally rewatch it. You should watch it anyway. 
<laughs> Look at how cute all of this is. Like, I am so proud of this freaking area. I feel like this is what I was envisioning when I was thinking about um, Honeydew and Springcore. Like, this is the exact vibe that I was going for. So I feel very accomplished. I hope that you enjoyed the stream. If you did, be sure to subscribe and like. We'll be live again on Sunday with some more honeydew decorating and then also we'll be playing on Tigerton, our Stardew Valley farm that we started last week. So yeah, thank you so much to our members. Thank you to our mods. Much love to all of you, all the viewers. Thank you, Jake for gifting some memberships and thank you amanda for the super chat i appreciate you all and i will see you on sunday have a great rest of your day or night and i'll say goodbye to bandit say goodbye to bandit <laughs> he's sniffing the microphone <laughs> i will see you guys later bye